Cody. I'm here to show you guys how to make an automatic plant watering system using an Arduino Uno. Let's go over the bill of materials. The parts I will be using for this project are a capacitive soil moisture sensor, a two position terminal block, some through hole resistors, through hole capacitors, two NPN transistors, an opto isolator, a P channel MOSFET, two addressable RGB LEDs, two right angle 0.1 inch pitch mail headers, two through hole normally open push buttons, an Arduino Uno, a 12 volt pump, and I'm also using a SparkFun Proto Shield for the Arduino Uno, but any Proto board will work. Now that I have all my parts, I'll begin assembling the board. When soldering components to a perf board, I like to start with the lower profile components first. For this board, I have specific locations that I would like the components to be positioned in and have planned these out ahead of time. I will solder some of the lower profile components, then move to the taller parts. Once the parts are soldered, I will solder the wires to make the connections to each component following the schematic, which is available on the maker.io project post. The last thing I'll be soldering is the leads onto the motor. Make sure we have the polarity correct on the colors. There's a red marker on this motor to indicate the positive. Now that we've finished soldering the components, let's go over how the board works. So the board has two buttons. One of the buttons is used to manually water the plant. The second button is used to set the moisture value or to reset if you've run out of water. The program does have a predefined level for the soil moisture. That is being read by the capacitive soil moisture sensor. We also have two RGB addressable LEDs. One of these is gonna be used to display the soil moisture level by fading from green to red. Green being moist and red being dry. When it gets too low, the other LED is gonna show the status of the water. That'll turn blue when the water is on. This will also flash green once your new moisture level has been set by holding in the set moisture button for more than five seconds. These values can be changed in the program. So we're gonna need two libraries for this code. The first one is a servo library. The second is the Adafruit NeoPixel library. Both of these can be downloaded through the library manager in the Arduino IDE. Next, we have some settings that worked really well for my plant, and you may want to change them depending on the plant that you're watering. The first one is a moisture check time. I have this set for 10 seconds between moisture checks. The next one is a water check time. This is set at two minutes, and that's gonna be the delay between each watering, which will give the sensor enough time to check the moisture and let the water absorb into the soil so that you'll know if your moisture has reached its level or not. Next, we have a flow time. This is how long the pump runs. We have this set at 10 seconds. The max attempts value is set at 15. This is the max amount of times that the pump is gonna run if the moisture level is not met. If it runs this amount of times without reaching its moisture level, then it's gonna think that your water source is empty and your LED will flash red. Next are settings that I found work best for my plant. The desired moisture I have set at 750 and the moisture differential I have set at 10. This value can be raised or lowered to change the frequency of the watering. So lowering this number will water the plant more frequently and raising this number will spread out your waterings over time. These are the settings that worked well for my plant. Feel free to make any changes to make the settings work well for yours. Now let's get the code uploaded and move on to assembly. Now that we have all of our parts, let's begin assembly. We're gonna start by putting the standoffs on our 3D printed bracket, the STL files will be available for download on maker.io. Next, we're gonna mount the Arduino Uno to the standoffs. Now, we'll mount the pump. Next, we'll attach our proto shield, and then our 3D printed tubing bracket. This bracket is also designed to be used as a servo horn, and we'll cut the tubing off once we get this mounted in our plant. When we hook up the power for the pump, Make sure you have the polarity correct when you soldered your two position terminal block. You also wanna check polarity with your moisture soil sensor. On mine, the ground is gonna go on the same side as the transistor. Now that everything's assembled, let's cut the tube and get it mounted to the plant.
If you want to take this project a step further, you can go and route your own board using the Bantam mill like I did on this project. You can also add the servo, which will allow you to move the hose back and forth to evenly distribute the water over your plant. And now you can wet your plants too. Back to work. Ugh. Man, I said plants, not pants. Cody, are you in there? Plants? Like this video? Want to learn more about other interesting projects from DigiKey? Subscribe to our channel.